Hi, everybody. Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking about Sunday night showdown between the Detroit Lions and the Los Angeles Rams. Another week one treat for this NFL season. And it has started off with a bang, a fantastic opener between the Baltimore Ravens and Kansas City Chiefs on Thursday night at Arrowhead. Uh, it was tough if you were on the Ravens side taking points because you would have gotten that W like John Harbaugh was going for two. But obviously Isaiah Likely's toe did not oblige and uh, Ravens ticket holders took a tough L. Over betters ended up a winner as uh, the number closed in the 46 to 46 and a half range and the Chiefs won 27 20. And we're going to talk total for this Sunday night clash a rematch, like I said, of Detroit and the Rams in a very exciting wild card game just a few short months ago. And if you were on the over in that game, you probably remember it as a really tough beat because uh, the Lions and Rams had combined for 38 points at the 403 mark of the first half. Uh, in the second quarter, it was the Rams cutting Detroit's lead to 21 to 17, and there were only nine points scored the rest of the way as uh, Jared Goff snuffed out the final few minutes, and uh, it ended up being the end of Aaron Donald's career because he retired a uh, month after that or so, and uh, the Lions moved on, and the Rams went home. The Lions uh, ended up losing in the NFC Championship, blowing that lead to the San Francisco 49ers, but we know what we're expecting in this matchup, Cooper Cup returns for the Rams. He was missing in that uh, aforementioned wild card game. We know Dan Campbell is going to go for it on fourth down whenever possible, especially this early in the season, uh, given that he did so with uh, the stakes as high as they were in the NFC Championship. So uh, that won't change. He'll be aggressive. Jameer Gibbs will play the Detroit Lions' talented running back. Uh, he has been nursing an injury, but is good to go. Uh, and so from that standpoint, all systems go for a over here. And I understand that uh, totals in week one tend to go to the underside. Uh, that was one reason why the Chiefs and Ravens number wasn't higher, despite the presence of former multiple time MVPs and Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Uh, and so we took advantage of that, and we should take advantage of this Rams-Lions game in similar fashion, especially since it's indoors and there is no weather conditions to be concerned about. Uh, Cooper Cup is back, so if you like his uh, numbers for this matchup, I think they're pretty uh, conservative. Uh, you've got Cup receiving yards at 66 and a half. I would take a shot at the over. Uh, very interesting that Puka Nakua has a number set on him at 73 and a half higher than cup i think uh, given that cup is returning to action matthew stafford will do his best to get him acclimated and going in the right direction right out of the gate amon ross st brown of the detroit lions is expected to be the game's highest receiver at 84 and a half i would also take a shot at um, jameer gibbs receiving number just 19 and a half right out of the backfield and again, he is good to go in uh, terms of participation here. Uh, I would not take a shot at his rushing number, which is at 54 and a half. His David Montgomery is going to eat into that. Uh, certainly gets the ball over Gibbs in short yardage situations. Probably will spend some time as the featured back. His number is at 52 and a half uh, for the Rams. It's Kyron Williams at 60 and a half, expected to be the leading rusher in this game. And rookie Blake Quorum out of Michigan is uh, in there at 23 and a half. We'll see how much Sean McVay looks to the rook. But uh, I expect another close game here. The Rams are a four to four and a half point underdog. So Detroit uh, obviously favored at home. This number opened at 51. So a lot of people already looking towards the over. If you get a 52, there's a lot of them out there. Go ahead and jump on that because I believe that this is going to climb. Uh, there are already some 52 and a halfs out there. So that is our play here on the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel over on the Sunday night football game between the Detroit Lions and the Los Angeles Rams from Ford Field. Also gave you a few player props as well over on Jared Goff and Jameer Gibbs receiving yards. And very interesting. Uh, you can play this any way you want, but I just thought it was uh, how similar the Matthew Stafford, Jared Goff, 
numbers are as they play against their former teams for the second time, second time in a few months, actually. Uh, Stafford is at 273 and a half passing yards. Goff is at 268 and a half. Uh, both have uh, one and a half passing touchdowns as their number with uh, Stafford's uh, juice at minus 152 and Goff's at minus 168. So Goff uh, a little bit of a heavier favorite to throw multiple touchdown passes. And their completion number is 23 and a half, identical for both uh, with 35 and a half attempts for Stafford expected and 33 and a half for Goff. Again, we're going to ride with the over in Detroit and the Rams expecting a high scoring matchup. I'm Tony Mejia from sportsmemo.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Check me out on my sports memo page at sm.buzz slash TDM for package information, free plays, and uh, let's partner up and make some money together all season long. I wish you a profitable weekend, and uh, I'm sure you'll be watching football just like all of us. Smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play. Thanks for watching.